Hey, good afternoon, apartment hackers. Uh, I know I'm on a little early today. I'm, I'm not normally on this early, but uh, I've got some things I'm going to do with the family tonight. We're going to barbecue, do some different things here in the hotel, even though it's really nasty outside. But uh, we'll get over that. Uh, we just want to have a little bit of a good time this evening. So I'm going to come to you uh, a little earlier. Any case, uh, I want to talk about a story. Actually, I'm going to tell you a story about what's happened recently with the transaction that I was working. And really more than that is to just do what you say you're going to do. If you tell somebody you're going to do something, do it. And, and this story I think is going to amplify that. So I was working a transaction. It was a, an extremely difficult transaction to work. Uh, the seller was in all kinds of different trouble with um, bankruptcy court and foreclosure and all kinds of different things. It was a fairly large deal and the buyers were pretty motivated to purchase the property. So spent a lot of time walking the buyers around the property, introducing them to the seller, trying to figure out ways we can get around all this and actually come to some kind of a deal. We've been working on it for probably close to a month. We had a signed agreement with the buyer for a 2% commission on the deal. It's a fairly large deal, would have brought us a couple hundred grand. And um, when it all came down to it, and they finally looked like we were gonna come to some kind of agreement, the buyer puts in their LOI that the seller has to pay the fee. Well, the agreement was with the buyer that they're gonna pay the fee, and regardless of that, you know, doesn't matter whether the buyer's paying it, the seller's paying it, the transaction is still paying the fee. Well guess what got negotiated out of the contract between the buyer and the seller? The fee for the broker. Go figure, right? So the whole point of this is if you're a buyer and you're purchasing a property and you tell whether it's a bird dog, whether it's a broker, whether it's uh, an acquisitions person that you're going to pay them. And we've got a contract with these guys. They signed an agreement that says they can pay us, that they're going to pay us 2%. And if this transaction consummates, we may very well sue them for that 2%. We're well within our right to do that. Now, I'm not saying we're going to, and we probably won't, but that option is on the table depending on how things kind of go moving forward. But the whole point is if you say you're going to do something in a transaction, do it. Don't be that person that doesn't do that. There's there's another guru out there that teaches, um, you know, pay me all this money and I'll get involved in the transaction with you. I'll bring you investors. We'll go and do the deal, but I want a percent or two percent of the deal for every deal that you do. And and that's on top of some astronomical like twenty five thousand dollars you got to pay him to even do all that. Well. Where he gets that fee is he teaches these guys, wait until you get to the closing table and at the closing table, you need to retrade for that fee. And everybody's at the closing table, they're gonna want to retrade, the seller will do what they gotta do to get the deal closed and that way I can get my fee on this. Um, and, and that's what he's teaching his students. Well, that is not an ethical way to do business. And there's a very good chance we may see this guy someday on American Greed, but that's neither here nor there. I teach an ethical way to conduct transactions. It has to be a win-win for the investor. It's gotta be a win-win for the seller, and really win-win, win for the investor, win for the seller. And you know, if there's a broker involved, then it needs to be a win-win-win. If it's a bird dog involved, a win-win-win. If there's a wholesaler in there and there's an assignee involved, then win-win-win-win. We don't want to ever try to take advantage of another person. That's why you'll always see in everything I do, whether it's a blog post, whether it's a video, I'll always say uh, without harming the seller or without harming the buyer because Nobody in a transaction should ever get harmed. We should all be doing this above board and ethically. And again, the whole point of the story is, you know, I'm, I'm now out $200,000. I'm okay with that because, and I even told the seller this, I was on the seller side and I said, look, you're in a bad spot. These guys aren't coming with any more money. There's enough money for them to come where you can get out of the position you're in. You do the deal. This wasn't your fault. This is 100% on them. And that's how you have to be in a transaction. You've got to be willing to set your ego aside, put yourself aside, and allow what's best for that transaction and for whoever needs the solution 
to allow that solution to occur. So I hope you guys all get that. So anyway, I know this is a little bit of a short, well, it's five minutes. It's not too bad. Um, I hope you had a great, successful week this week. Uh, I'm still, as you can see, in the hotel, but there's light at the horizon. We talked to the contractors today, and it looks like we're moving back into the house on Wednesday. So they're saying they're going to be done Tuesday. So that was great news. That's a week ahead of schedule. And getting a contractor to do anything ahead of schedule is, is quite the task. Uh, hey, hey, Furman, I see you on, buddy. It's good to see you. I ho hope you've had a good week. Uh, anyway, I hope everybody has a good weekend. Um, I may try to get on one or once or twice this weekend. I know I haven't been doing them on the weekends, but I, I need to try to start doing them uh, on the weekend. And my wife's going to be working Mardi Gras, so I may have some time to get on. So you might see me on Saturday and Sunday. I will be publishing my blog post on Sunday, so make sure you see that. Um, I don't remember what the title of it's going to be. Um, anyway, you guys have a, a great weekend. Again, hope you had a successful week, and we'll talk to you again either tomorrow or Monday.